It's so good to see you. My name is Dolores, better known as The Baking Diva. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll enjoy this video today and you'll subscribe and you'll come back. So today I'm gonna try to make this quick because I'm going on vacation soon and I wanted to get this in for you before I left because this is the cat's meow. <laughs> so if you like peanut butter and you like chocolate, stick around. If you don't, well then this video is not for you. So today, what are you going to make for us, Diva? Today, I'm going to make for you monkey bread. But it's not plain old monkey bread. It's Reese's peanut butter cup monkey bread. That's right. And it is so easy that with supervision your children can make it. And it's so delicious. So without further ado, I'm going to get this recipe rolling for you. So what do you say we get started? Let's get started. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 325 degrees and I will put the recipe down below in the description box for you like I always do. Now what you're going to need is a bundt pan and no it's not a bundt cake I'm done with that series it's monkey bread so you want to generously spray the inside of your pan so I'm going to do that now because we don't want any monkey sticking do we? <laughs> All right, this was pretty, pretty generous. Put that aside for now. Now, what are you gonna need? You're gonna need a bag of the Reese's Miniature Peanut Butter Cups. Mm -hmm. And the hardest part of this recipe is going to be unwrapping them. There's about 30 or, I don't know, 31 or 32 mini cups in here. So I unwrapped them all for you ahead of time need well yeah refrigerated biscuit dough and I happen to have here um, the Grand the Pillsbury Grand these are the southern home style ones and these are 16 ounces and there are eight big biscuits mm-hmm so you're gonna open up your biscuits like I already did you're gonna take one out now you're gonna cut it in half. So far, easy, right? All right, let me just cut this on half. And we're gonna stretch it out. We wanna have about a two inch or so circle. Now I washed my hands. They're nice and clean. So you wanna press this out a little bit. I'm using my board here. till you get a nice, maybe around a two inch circle, okay? Alrighty, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just stretch it out a little bit because you want to put your little peanut butter cup in here. Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. 
So now I'm gonna take one of the cups that I've unwrapped, I'm gonna put it in here, and I'm gonna cover that little baby with the biscuit dough. Now you can do it any way you want. You can do it like a little diaper, <laughs> any way you want, but you have to make sure all the openings are sealed. Seal them tight with your fingers, just squeeze them tight. You don't want any of that peanut butter cup oozing out of there. And you're gonna end up with a ball like this, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing with all of the peanut butter cups. You're gonna do this with, I would say, you're gonna end up with probably about 32 balls. So let me do another one for you on camera and I'm gonna do the rest for you off camera. So let me get this one stretched out. Woo! Just stretch it, stretch it any way you want. Don't break it. Stretch it, pat it, pound it, <laughs> whatever you have to do. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, take another little of the miniature peanut butter cups. I'm gonna put it in there. I'll fold the sides together. I'll fold the sides up and I'll pinch it. And then just roll it into a little ball. So you get that, right? Pretty easy. Mmm, oh boy. This is gonna be good. I love monkey bread. And all these monkeys behind me like monkey bread too. There, give it a little roll and you have a nice ball. So let me finish doing these off camera. When I get all of the balls made with the peanut butter cup in it, I'll come back and I'll show you what we do next. So stay tuned. So once you get them all rolled into a ball, you're gonna take your well-greased bunt pan and you're gonna start just placing them in there. Place them, you know, evenly around the pan, just like that. Sorry about the screaming, that's my parrot in the background. I usually take her out when I'm videoing, but I forgot to this time, sorry. Keep arranging these in the pan. Ready? So here's what the pan looks like when I have all the balls in it. All right, let me put that aside. So in here, I have three quarters of a cup of melted butter. To that, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. And I'm gonna whisk it till it's all combined. Okay, so once you get your brown sugar and your melted butter combined, pour it evenly all over the balls. Just like, mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that, whoa. Alrighty. Yummy. Hold it up so you can see it. Now I'm gonna put this in my 325 degree oven for 40, 50 minutes. And uh, at the 40 minute mark, I'll probably take maybe the handle of my wooden spoon and in the middle, I'll just press down a little bit on one of the dough balls just to see if they feel cooked to me. And then I'll show you what we do next. So you won't want to miss this. Stay tuned. The monkeys are watching. You watch too. Okay. I took the um, pan out of the oven. I'll try to tip it a little bit for you. See how nice and golden brown it is? And I touched the top of uh, one of the biscuits with the handle of my wooden spoon and um, it felt nice and firm to me. So I know they're done. Now you can either take a spatula or you can take a knife and just gently go around, all around the sides of the pan, just to loosen it in case anything is sticky. Now you don't want to leave this monkey bread in the pan any longer than 10 minutes because it will stick and then you'll have trouble getting it out. So I'm just loosening the sides now. I sure hope it tastes as good as it looks. Where do you see what we're gonna do next? All right, so I loosen the sides. I'm just gonna push this over a little bit, out of my way. Now I'm gonna make a little glaze for the top. So in this measuring cup here that I could put in the microwave, I put in here 
a half a cup of creamy peanut butter that I melted in the microwave. To that, I'm gonna add two cups of powdered sugar, that's confectioner's sugar, and I would say about a quarter to a half a cup of milk. So I'll start out with a quarter and I'll mix it. Let me see if I want it thinner. Maybe just a speck. Just trying to get some of the lumps out of it. Looking good, let me see. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So a few more minutes in the pan and now I'll... It's my dog. What's the matter, honey? Come over here. I don't know. Between my parrot and my bird. Yikes! <laughs> my grandsons each have a fish bowl in their room with a beta in it. Mm -hmm. And the little one, Lucas, has two dwarf hamsters. It's like a zoo around here. And who do you think takes care of these things? Well, I don't take care of the hamsters. They're like that big. They're dwarf hamsters. I won't touch them. But the fish I feed when they're not here, the bird I take care of. Yeah, I'm a regular zookeeper over here. All right, so let's see. I think that's good. Very good. Oh, it's a little shy of a half a cup of milk. That's perfect. Let me move my monkey bread in front of me and I'm going to get a dish to invert it. I made a 10 cup bunt pan. Let me just make sure it's not stuck on the sides before I turn it over. Did you ever have monkey bread that didn't taste good? The monkeys are all waiting back there. There's so many of them that have been watching me make the monkey bread that when they all pop down here, there won't be any left. <laughs> Better take what we want first. All right, a couple more minutes and I'm gonna invert this onto my dish. I can't wait to bite into one of those, those delicious chocolate and peanut butter cups in the middle. Woo, the angels are gonna be singing, that's for sure. Oh, I should tell you now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I have a lot of great new recipes coming up. Hit the red subscribe down below. Ooh, it's still hot and the little bell next to it. It'll turn gray and it'll say all. And then that's all. You'll get one notification, no more, when my video is, you know, on YouTube and uh, you won't miss it. So that's it. And, but make sure if you subscribe, you come back and you watch the videos because the only way that YouTube promotes my channel is if you give me thumbs up and uh, by the views. They don't care that much about subscribers. They care more, they care more about the views. Subscribe, come back and watch me. All right, a couple more minutes and this baby is coming out. Whoop. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. the bottom. Uh, let me put that one there. Oh, they smell so good. Oh yeah, one little part of it stuck, but doesn't matter. Oh yeah, looks really delicious. Now I'm gonna start drizzling this peanut butter glaze over the top. Let me give this a little taste test. Mm. So good. All right, here I go. A little bit I'm gonna drizzle over the top back and forth back and forth oh man if you're a peanut butter lover oh you're gonna die and think you went to heaven <laughs> oh, look at this oh my gosh so yummy oh you yeah. think that's enough glaze we're good all righty so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle some of the little peanut butter cups that I chopped up on the top of it. They'll stick to the glaze just 
for a little special touch. Oh, wow. Awesome. Can't wait to pull these apart and do a taste testing. Oh. Got to call the cameraman down and my son. Oh, yeah. I think this um, monkey peanut butter Reese's uh, peanut butter cup monkey bread was a favorite on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that watch TikTok, you may or may not have seen this on there. Look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So delicious looking. I'm going to eat a peanut butter cup. Mm, so good. So good. All right. It's perfect. I'm loving it. I made a mess, but I would make a mess. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. So delicious. All right. A couple minutes, I'll be back, and we're going to do a taste test, and you have to stay for this one. Look at this masterpiece. Oh, my goodness. Now, normally, monkey bread, you pull apart with your hands and your fingers and you eat it, but this has glaze on it. So I'm gonna take a fork. We're gonna do a taste testing. I'm gonna take a piece of this out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let me see. Oh, look at this. My goodness, oh boy. Just grab a few pieces of it. Look at that, oh, I can't wait to see what those peanut butter cups, oh, those, oh my goodness. All the peanut butter cups melted in there. Woo! All right, let me give this a taste testing. All right, oh boy. Let's see. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. Can you see the melted peanut butter cup in there? Oh, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> very good. Very, very chewy. You know, those biscuits are always chewy. And then with the melted peanut butter cup inside, delicious. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. If you're a peanut butter lover and a chocolate lover, make this. You saw how easy it was to make. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I gotta run. I gotta finish my monkey bread. Mmm. So good. The others are waiting to come over because they want to dig in too. So thanks for watching. Love you all. Don't forget to come back. I have some more good ones coming up.